hi guys so um today's video is going to be a little bit different so as some of you know i'm going into nursing school and um so i'm a high school senior right now okay which means that i will be starting school i'll be starting college in august to get into nursing school you have to take the kaplan nursing assessment test and it's like a two and a half hour test kind of like an sat and they score that and take your gpa like your regular gpa and your science gpa and then um like you get ranked and the top however many get accepted so um, today I'm going to take that test and hopefully do well so that hopefully I can get into nursing school because it's a selective admissions, not just like if you get in, you get in, you know. Um, it takes a bit more work because obviously you can't be an idiot to be a nurse. I'm about to take that test um, in about, oh shoot, hang on. I'm taking it in about 20 minutes, so I'm going to get dressed and stuff. I woke up, had coffee and breakfast, didn't film that, and then um, I took a prep course, so um, I have like a textbook from that, and I looked through that, because there's some of the science stuff is what I like, didn't really know, like some of the systems, because my anatomy year got cut short because of COVID, because I took anatomy last year, so... And I miss like random stuff. So I just went through and kind of studied that. And yeah, so I'm kind of picking up like random stuff on my floor right now. I'm gonna get dressed and then get situated and ready to take that. Um, but I wanted to document the experience. Obviously I won't be filming the test for you, um, but I will let you know like how it goes and everything. I'm taking it at home on Zoom because of COVID there was an option to go in but I had the option to do Zoom and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do that one. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll talk to you after. All right, here's the fit for today. It does not really match but that's okay. I'm wearing these like maroon leggings and this like band shirt with purple on it. The purples don't really match but that's okay. These are the only clean leggings that I have, I think. So, yeah, I need to do laundry. I am missing school today for this, obviously, because it's a very long test. Um, but it counts as a college day. So, I'm gonna make my bed really quick. And, yeah, I'm not gonna make it make it, but I'm gonna make it nicer than it is right now. Alright, so, oh shoot, I forgot to grab water. I need to do that so that I have water. I also have a calculator. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I also have to have my ID. So, there's that. I'm going to go get some water so that I have that to drink. Okay, cool. Okay, so I have about 10 minutes. Um, and I have water now. I'm going to um, grab a blanket. And then I'll be ready. I'm so stressed. Oh shoot, I didn't upload the video. My video might go up a little bit late today because I kind of forgot about that. So now I have blue light blockers because I'm about to be sitting at this computer for hours. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up my computer basically and just get everything situated. I also need paper in case I wanna math, you know? Anyway, so 
after I finish this test, I am going to let you guys know how it went, what it was like, um, and everything like that for anybody else that is going into nursing. Plus, they do this test, um, like a couple times a year. It's in, like, August and September, or September and October, I'm not for sure. And then January and February. Um, so, I will be posting my experience and everything for anybody else that is going to be taking this test and um hopefully i can help you guys out um if your college does have a prep course i recommend taking it um i did and it definitely helped me a lot because yeah like i haven't even taken the test yet but i know that the prep course helps a lot because um i'm a lot more confident going into it now than i was before Hey guys, so the last time we talked was a couple weeks ago. Today is February 27th, and I took my test, my Kaplan test, on the 17th. So it's been quite a bit since we have talked, um, and I wanted to update you guys. So um, after that test, it really did not take me that long. It took me about an hour and a half, I believe. After that, um, I got my score, which was a 71%. Now, I personally was not super happy with this being a straight A student with a 4.2 cumulative GPA. Um, I was really mad at myself, but I had to remind myself that the test was, the science portion of the test was over um, college science and the stuff that you learn in college. Obviously, I'm not, I was at a disadvantage. I'm still waiting on results for if I got into nursing school. I'm very stressed. I'm very nervous. Yeah, I should hopefully find out soon because testing ends this month. Um, and yeah, I'm really nervous about it. I really hope that I got in. Yeah, um, so the prep course that I took was one from the college that I plan on going to and that I took the Kaplan test for and like through. So, um, a prep course I definitely recommend, and I also got a textbook, which I studied over and over and over again. It was pricey, but, like, this whole process, but it was definitely worth it because without doing all of that, I definitely wouldn't have gotten the score that I got. Yeah, it definitely made a huge difference, and it made me a lot more confident going into that test because I was super nervous before, before having that, the prep course and everything, um... And after I had the prep course and I had that textbook and I was able to know exactly what was going to be on the test, um, everything that I would need to know and need to study, I was able to be a lot more confident and it helped me, it helped me a lot. I also was able to do it on Zoom, um, obviously because of COVID this year, so I did it on Zoom and I was able to have a blanket over me, I was sitting in my own comfy chair and I was, it was very nice. Um, but it was a lot less stressful than I thought it was going to be. I definitely psyched myself out a lot. So, um, like I said, textbook prep course. Um, definitely know what's going to be on the test. If your college offers a prep course, I definitely recommend taking it. It is like another version of the SAT, which is why I was super stressed out because I'm not a very good standardized test taker, which is why I think I got a 71% other than the fact that I didn't know any of the science questions. But it really wasn't as bad and, and the it's all online and the reading portion, that's what I usually do the worst at because I have the attention span of a goldfish and... I get really bored of the reading passages because they're not entertaining to me. However, some of them were because some of them were medical related. They were not that bad and they were decently short unlike taking an SAT. So it was able, it was a lot easier and since it was on a computer you had your passage on one side and your questions on the other so it was easy to like just scroll up and down. So I grabbed the textbook that I got. This is it. It was only like 20 something bucks, I think, from my school's bookstore. Um, and it just says nursing school entrance, entrance exams prep 2021-2022. Uh, um, and it has a section on each section. The science one was what I really looked in. And since I bought this book, I was able to like highlight and write in it and stuff like that um to help me memorize some stuff and then there's also like review questions and then answers for them 
the reading comprehension one really helped me out a lot because like I said, for some reason I just cannot do the reading ones. So this actually taught me how to skim read, which I was not good at. But yeah, it taught me how to skim read and how to do that. So it was, it was really helpful. So even if you can't afford to take a class or you don't have a class offered, I definitely recommend at least trying to find one of these books. There's also a lot of them on Amazon and stuff like that of just like reviews and stuff. I know I downloaded one, um, like Kindle one that I just downloaded on the Kindle app on my tablet. I used it a little bit until I found out that I could use the prep course. So it actually worked, but this does teach you a lot about like especially if you're taking this in high school. Um, the science portion really helped me. That's what I studied in the most. Yeah, I think that without this, I definitely would not have gotten the score that I got. So my biggest tip to you is um, set aside your time to study, get prep books, take a prep course, whatever you can do. Um, it'll be really helpful and beneficial. And it's, it's worth it. Okay, so I think that is it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it went for me and my tips for you guys, which is basically just to study and take care of yourself. Don't stress yourself out about it too much. Um, and don't overthink it. It's really not, it's not that tough. Um, and it says it's a 165 minute test, but it's on your own time. It took me an hour and a half because I'm a fast test taker. It's really, it's all up to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday and if I get into nursing school, you'll see more nursing content. If not, um, it's nice knowing you. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.